Hello, my friends. Welcome back to What the K, where we test out Korean beauty products to decide whether they're worth your time and money. Today, we are not testing a Korean beauty product. We are testing a Chinese beauty product that may save you a lot of money on your Korean face masks. It is the Kingdom Cares face mask maker. And Lila is joining me today. She's my nine-year-old, and she is actually going to be making the masks and trying it out for you. So if you're curious about this mask maker and how it works, we're gonna tell you in just a second. You may have seen this on Facebook. Uh, I, that's how I found out about it. I had some subscribers contact me on Facebook and say, Jen, could you do a review of this? And I was like, yes, we can definitely do that. So the brand that you can order it from is called Creative Shop. And so I ordered it directly from Creative Shop. Like three weeks later, I realized that they had sent me a, uh, a shipping confirmation and I had never received the product. It was $75 and I kind of started freaking out because when I checked my email, the website where it says check to check on your order or whatever it says it's no longer in service the link to the website for the company no longer in service so I go back to Facebook and to make a long story short they ended up refunding my money through PayPal so I do not recommend that you go through creative shop that is the people that were advertising through I think it was inside something I forget what the ad was through um, or whether they just talked about it or whatever but anyway don't go through creative shop I got mine through Amazon directly from Kingdom Cares. It was $45.99 through them. Right now it looks like it's sold out, but I, I don't see why they wouldn't restock. It's probably just a really popular item. There are tons of these kinds of makers and reviews for them on YouTube, so if you don't wanna wait for them to get it back in stock, you can probably find another similar machine somewhere else uh, because these are all over YouTube. But I thought $45.99 was um, a really good price. So for your $45.99, you get the machine Machine. You also get a juicer and the juicer it makes it so you can juice all kinds of things and it comes with a measuring little cup thing here which is great it comes with a spatula this is for prying the mask out it comes with a brush for cleaning and then it comes with the mold thingy. this for your face. So that's what the mask, it actually kind of 3D prints sheet masks. It's but, super neat. But nobody's face is actually the shape, so <laughs> it's, look, well, it's gonna look a little weird. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens because I tried it out on my own without her just to make sure it worked before we filmed the video, but she hasn't seen it work yet. So I'm excited for her to see it. It also comes with these collagen pills and the um, information back here is from China. I thought it was Korean, so I asked my friend Sue on, on Twitter if she could translate this for me and she was like, oh, Jen, that's Chinese. I can't, I can't speak Chinese. I can only translate Korean. Or she gave me the advice to, to download an app and and kind of get it translated from there. So I did find out what was in it. Sue actually has a YouTube channel. I will link that down below in case you're interested. But anyway, the number one ingredient in this is a binder and the second one is hydrolyzed collagen. These are considered collagen pills. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Now, one thing to keep in mind about collagen is that collagen, from what I researched, it only helps you with the outermost layers of your skin. It doesn't really help you replace the collagen within your skin. This is what it looks like. The second ingredient besides the Collagen is aloe extract, which I really like to see in uh, in cosmetics. It, of course, is you know, we know that aloe is cooling for sunburn, but also can treat acne. It's a moisturizer. It's actually a really nice ingredient. It comes with. 12 collagen pills in the pack. So it doesn't come with a lot. You're gonna need to buy more pills if you're gonna use more than 12 of these. So I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with the pills because it wasn't listed on the website whether it was came with pills. So I actually got these uh, as an extra because I wasn't sure I didn't wanna end up with no pills because you need the pill in order to make the mask. This is an effervescent mask pill. It's the same thing, but it says effervescent. And the major ingredients in this are something called tartaric acid, which tartaric acid is an anti oxidant for the skin. Um, it's an alpha hydroxy acid. And then glucomannan. 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 And that's an anti-aging ingredient. Uh, and I will put more information about those ingredients down below if you're interested in these. This pack was $25.99 and you get 32 pieces. Today we're going to be making what? 
watermelon face mask. Yes, we are. We're gonna do a watermelon face mask. And watermelon, you were seeing more in skincare ingredients. Uh, with watermelon, the reason why it's red is because of something called lycopene, and lycopene is a good skincare ingredient, apparently. It also has amino acids, it has uh, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C. Watermelon is a really good ingredient to put in these. Uh, I'm going to put in the description box below a bunch of other fruits and vegetables and things that you may want to use this with. There's um, a bunch of recipes in the back for the face mask. There are, and it tells you what the benefits are, but you know me, I gotta like dig a little deeper. So we'll put some of those suggestions, but I'll dig into and put some more information in the description box so you kind of can target what you're looking for. So now we have gotten through everything in here. Let's go ahead and make a mask. Thanks. Now, Lila, I, I kind of gave her a project. What was the project takes I gave? It forever to open. <laughs> And it doesn't even come with directions on how to open it. Yeah, we had, I, we had the hardest time figuring out how to open this stupid thing. Like so how does it work? That you would just like press this button and it would open, but you have, there's a safety lock on it, so you have to push this down, then you press the button, and then you open it up. There you go, and inside is a little plastic blade that mixes it, and it heats. So Lila, how do we make this mask? Can you look at the directions and tell us how we make it? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is Prepare the fruit. Prepare the fruit. So we're going to put the fruits in the cup. Put it all in there. Put, let's just put two in for now. And then I'm going to hold this and you smoosh. And smoosh this down. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, smoosh. That's oh, heavy. Stand up. Get some, get some leverage. There you go. And it's kind of spin it and turn it and smoosh it. Yeah, get it, get it. Push the fruits in. Yeah, I'm just pushing them. I'm just going to go. Okay, go ahead and smoosh. <laughs> <laughs> it sprayed everywhere. There you go. That's actually probably enough juice. Number two. Take purified water or warm water to clean the stirring tank. Which I already did, so we're good there. Prepare one exclusive collagen. So that's the pill. Purified water. And how much, how much water? 60 millimeters. Milliliters. milliliters. 60 milliliters and how much juice? And 20 milliliters of juice. Okay, so go fill this up with 60 milliliters of warm water. I would imagine purified water is probably better, but I don't know anybody that keeps purified water in their house unless they have a specific reason to, so we don't have that. So we're just going to use warm water today. My microphone is showing. Oh my goodness, child, it's 9 o'clock. 60 milliliters of water. Now, if I add 20 milliliters of water into this, how many milliliters should we have all together? 80. 80. So can you pour that in until we have 80 milliliters of liquid? Whoa. Woo. It's okay. It went out of there. Oops. It's okay. And collagen pill. Drop it in. Put it in here. Drop it in. Blunk. Blunk. And there's a little bit of fizzies going on. Yeah, it goes from numbers one to three, and then two to three, and then numbers one to five. <laughs> I don't really get this. This microphone keeps falling down in my face. Pour the prepared materials toward the stirring tank. Close the lock catch cover. The lock catch cover. Lock. That's okay. All right, here you go. So go ahead and pour that into the machine. Right here. Yep, right in. Right in here. Yep, that's correct though. Whoa. Pour it all in. Okay, and close it up. Turn on, the, turn the latch. Close it. Close it. Close the latch. Now we're gonna plug it in. You want to make sure you plug it in after they say. It does have a relatively short cord, so we have an extension cord that we're gonna use. Ooh. Beep beep. It's making noises. Beep beep. Press the power switch to turn on the appliance. Press it. Okay. Yep. Press the button. It's pretty colorful. Though. The button's pretty colorful. Uh huh. We need to wait about six minutes after hearing the beep sound for a reminder, properly unplug the plug and press the lock catch to open the lock catch covers. Okay, so we will see you in six minutes when this thing is done. You can hear that it is quite quiet. You can hear the noise, but it's not very loud. Uh, and it does have a nice, decently loud beep that tells you when it is done. So we will see you after it beeps. It has just beeped. We are good to go. And it says what? Pour out the liquid mask toward the mask mold and wait about two minutes for the mask to cool down and condense. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm actually gonna do the pouring because it is hot and I don't want Lila to accidentally burn herself. I'm gonna open this up and 
we are going to gently pour and it is very hot. Hopefully you can see the steam. So that is how the mask looks right now. I found that the last time that I did this, two minutes was not long enough. It was still very warm. So it actually takes about 10 minutes for it to completely cool down enough to be able to lift it off. So we're gonna wait eight to 10 minutes and we'll be back. We have our face mask. Yay! When the mask is condensed, take the scraper and gently pull the mask away. So kind of run it around the outer edges. I'm gonna slice it around. There you go. I'm gonna gently lift it up with your fingers and then you're gonna plop it on your face. There you go. Just hold it up so they can see. Whoa, we have a face mask. And then plop it on your face. <laughs> Not that she needs collagen or anything, but how does it feel? Good. Yeah? <laughs> does it smell like watermelon? Yes. So you're supposed to leave this on 15 to 20 minutes. Lila doesn't have time for that because it's her bedtime. You look creepy. Ah! When you have a regular Korean mask, they'll say, you know, wipe in the rest of it, but they actually recommend you rinse off the ingredients uh, when you're done. And I definitely recommend that with watermelon because it does feel sticky afterward. But I felt like my skin looked pretty nice after I used it. I did. I really enjoyed it. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put her to bed and then we're gonna come back and I'm just gonna quickly make another one of these, but I'm gonna use the effervescent one just to see if it's any different and then I will give you my final thoughts on this product. All right, the children are in bed. Hopefully they stay there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you, this is my dining room by the way. I just have no good table in my filming room, so I figured this would be a better place to do this, and that way if anything spilled or anything, we'd be in good shape. So, let's pick up where we left off. I have remixed some watermelon juice with the warm water, and we're gonna go ahead and drop in an effervescent mask tab in case you want to try this. These are specifically made for face mask machines. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop that in, bonk. And we're going to open this baby up, bonk. And we're going to pour in the prepared liquid, bonk. Close it up, start it up. So we'll wait until this beeps and then we'll pour it out and we'll see if it's any different than the collagen mask. I don't usually have my microphone above my head. I usually have it below me, but there's no room. So it keeps falling down. It's like creeping down on my head like, Stop creeping on me, microphone. My machine went off, so I'm going to, oh, I forgot to latch it. Ooh, so it will work without it being latched, just so you know. And I'm going to pour into here. Um, and it looks the same. I'm gonna go ahead and let this mask cool, and then I'm gonna put it on and tell you if it feels any different than the other one that I did the other day. So we have our mask, it is totally cool. Let's go ahead and scrape it off, put it on, and see if I notice any difference than with the collagen mask. I really was expecting it to be a little more effervescent, considering it is an effervescent mask. Uh, it seems to be the exact same as far as the thickness goes, the way it feels, and plop. Mmm, they're nice. So I am going to leave this on my face for 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and I'll take it off and I'll tell you if it feels, <laughs> I'll tell you if it feels any different than the collagen one. <laughs> feels very juicy, juicy and watermelony. I think I'm gonna need to lay down with this one cause it's sliding. Ugh. Can you imagine, don't put lemon juice in this because I would imagine that would hurt the eyes that it would get in your eyes. Don't put lemon juice in one of these. I imagine that'd be a terrible idea. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so I have some things and stuff and stuff and things to tell you. All right, first of all, it does feel the same, but I did have an issue. I'm kind of dab my face off a little bit. I did have an issue in that as I was laying down on the couch, letting the mask kind of 
seep into my face. It was like random drips running down my neck. So if you have like strawberry juice or blueberry juice or like something that can stain, be super, super careful because the juice was absolutely dripping down my neck and it was at random times. I know I got a little bit on my shirt here. Um, from, thankfully it was just watermelon juice. But still, um, so definitely be careful with that. It might have been like the ratio of because watermelon is so juicy. I don't know. I did do exactly what they said with the 20 milliliters and the 60 milliliters. So I don't know. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to play with that formula a little bit. So final thoughts on this. I definitely, I don't know. I mean, I feel like this would be a great thing for people that really like cooking, people that like creating, people that, you know, maybe make their own handmade soaps or, you know, people that are really into that whole, I'm gonna make my own of something because it makes it very easy for you to make your own. But I do warn you to please look into the uh, ingredients you're planning on putting in there. And if you put something in and it doesn't feel right, take it off immediately. You get 32 pieces for $26, so that's less than a dollar a pill. And mostly, most face masks, the least expensive ones are like a dollar, so you're paying less than a dollar for each one. It was so much fun to use. It was so easy to use. Cleanup is a little bit tricky in that you have to make sure that you clean this out really good. You're supposed to put hot water in here and let it cook, and then kind of, um, you're supposed to use the brush and scrub it out and kind of rub it out. It is a little bit hard to get inside, but I think that it's gonna be okay. I don't feel like, this is something that's gonna be super difficult to keep clean. Uh, but I've only used it twice, so I'll have to keep you posted on that, and I'll add any additional information. If there's anything more, I'll put it in the description as I learn it. I'm really enjoying this product. It's so much fun for mask lovers out there. As you know, I used to hate face masks. Now I really enjoy them. So uh, yeah, this was a fun project for me, and I definitely recommend it. So I wanna thank you so much for watching What the K this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely make sure you subscribe for more videos. I put out a ton of content. We have uh, videos coming out every day, but Saturday we have the Makeup Minute Monday through Friday, which is makeup news, then our full length makeup news, makeup news show called What's Been Makeup on Sunday. I do reviews, regular reviews, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well. So thanks again so much for watching this video, and that love to you, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!